Hey everyone, it's Ty Warner with Gleason Works and Kissoft uh, Gear Software Tech Support for North America. I just wanted to do a quick little uh, blurb today. Uh, for some of you, if you're if you're working in Kissys and you're making these really big big models, or you're doing a lot of uh, heavy crunching, maybe you're doing uh, load spectrums, or you've got planetary sets and uh, lots of lots of stuff going on in the background using lots of memory sometimes what happens is your your software when you close out of a um, a calculation module you know you might start here and kiss this right so you get this nice thing whatever it might be and you go to one of these calculation modules right comes up you do your stuff and you hit close and normally it would close very quickly like that uh, sometimes what happens though is you get this you get this calculation that kind of hangs right it'll hang for maybe two or three minutes before it closes so it's trying to close um, the simplest way you can fix this is is by doing a if you go down here to your computer you can type in ampersand ampersand app data and then another one of these and you get this app data folder right in the app data folder now you see all this information there's this kissoft ag folder all right and this folder if you double click on it has your uh ini kissoft th these are created ini files in the app data roaming um like where you do your templates so if you save something you have a template you'd save it and go here all right but what if if all of a sudden now you're hanging when all this happens you can simply come into this folder right click delete so if you delete that and you close this out reopen your kiss off um, these these calculation models will open they'll calculate real nice like this um, and then you close them and they close. It's a real simple fix. Uh, it's not really, it, it just ends up being, something's going on in there, uh, in this version at least, that causes it to kind of hang. It, it will eventually close, it just like, the performance slows down. So that's a quick fix for that. Uh, the other thing quickly, um, we have Kissoft 2021. It's not a beta release anymore, it is released. Uh, it is available. If you are, uh, if you have the software and you want to download it and you're up to date on your maintenance, um, you know, you will simply go into your uh, My Kissoft account. I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to go up here to www.kissoft.com. And here we go. So you're going to go www.kissoft.com uh, forward slash en, it's English. And you're going to log into My Kissoft. Once you log into Kissoft, go to Customer Area, and you're going to have your license number, whatever that might be. Okay. And you will download your software and your license right here. So, this is an early one. I don't know whose this is. No idea other than. You will get a screen that has your license number and your versions. It'll tell you the changes if you want to download that, the type of license you have, um, etc. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and download 2021, install it, make sure you follow the instructions, and um, start using that software. I think you'll enjoy it. Other than that, uh, new features, bearing calculation within a geometry in the cloud, collision check during honing and power skiving. That's kind of nice. Import possibility of cylindrical gear flank measurement grid. So that was possible prior on bevel gears. Now we can do it on uh, cylindrical gears. System reliability at a glance uh, with AGMA and compare variants of gear modifications. Okay, so we're looking at uh, different variants under mods to get your your best um, your, your best system with uh, noise and vibration that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, that's all I had right now, but this is just a quick update on how you would fix that hang. So if it hangs, app data, uh, percent app data, percent sign, and it'll take you right there. 
delete those folders or that that uh, version folder you're using reopen up your version and it'll work very quickly so thanks for listening thanks for being supportive uh click the like feature or click the i guess i've never asked anyone to click on uh, a subscribe button but go ahead and subscribe i'll try and keep things coming thanks bye